Hey guys and gals, Vlad here with AVT Astro and today as always I've got an interesting astro topic for you guys. For those of you that might not be familiar, I'll run a little astro blog called avt-astro.com and of course this YouTube channel, so if you're not subscribed, please do consider subscribing over the years. I've had the privilege of owning over 100 scopes, more accessories than I could count. And that's the topic of today's video is kind of upkeep on some of your accessories and more specifically diagonals. Alrighty guys, so quick FYI, if your star diagonal looks like this, that is not good news. <laughs> but anyway, um, so we have three star diagonals that we're going to be looking at today. They're all two inches. Uh, this sort of equally apply if you have an inch and a quarter diagonal. So I just wanted to show you guys three examples. Uh, this is a batter star diagonal. This one's actually overall the mirror is clean and I'm not really sure how well this is going to come out like as far as showing the dirtiness of the mirrors. But overall this one's clean with minimal dust. Uh, the next one that we have up here uh, has a little bit more gunk on it um, and a little bit more dust. And then last but not least we have, oh yeah this is definitely showing up. <laughs> So the third one, it's an older mirror diagonal that's been sitting, uh, obviously with the caps probably off, you know. And yeah, as you can see, the mirror is pretty filthy on that. Alrighty guys, so anyway, I just wanted to show you guys a quick tutorial of how to clean your, you know, star diagonal. Um, and then again, I want to show you the various degrees of cleanliness you might want to perform on them, you know, based on how dirty the star diagonal is. <clears throat> All right guys, so let's start with the easy one. Uh, so this is the one that just had minimal dust, you know, pretty clean mirror on this thing. So this I would categorize as, you know, maintenance that you could do with it, you know, without your diagonal being dirty and really kind of prevent it from getting dirty. Uh, so really with, you know, a diagonal that you just have a little bit of dust on there, what I would do is do not touch the mirror at all. So what you do is, you know, you take one of your, you know, like bulb type of deals. Do not use compressed air because that, that it can actually damage the mirror. But anyway, you know, just hit it with the bulb, you know, try to get some of the dust out. You know, hit it with the bulb, you know, from this side as well. Um, if you have dust, like, you know, on the actual parts, you know, like in here, um, not on the mirror and do not touch the mirror. But if you have dust on here, I mean, it doesn't hurt to, you know, take like a microfiber cloth and kind of wipe that out. Kind of just general good, you know, upkeep, wipe the exterior. So I would classify this as, you know, kind of just general upkeep to uh, keep your clean diagonal, you know, staying clean. And uh, bulb, you'd be surprised, it could actually get, you know, rid of quite a, you know, a bit of uh, gunk and stuff like that on there. All right, so next up, this one that does definitely have some more dust and this one's kind of borderline to where like I'd, you know, I'd want to like wash the mirror, which is what we're going to do with the next one. Uh, but I wanted to show you guys, so the next step, you know, you know, so you do the same thing, you kind of hit it with the bulb as best you can, right? And try to get as much of the dust as you can. And if there's specific like dust, you know, like don't be afraid to get kind of close, obviously don't touch the mirror with the bulb. Uh, so after you do that, you know, say if you can, you know, it looks like there's still some gunk st stuck on there, dust and that type of deal. What you could do is you could use an optical brush. This is not a painting brush, as you can see. What does it say on here? It says 100% camel hair. So I bought this at a camera store years ago. Uh, this actually uses, you know, apparently real camel hair. Very, very soft, uh, you know. Anyway, so what you could do is, and I'll, I'll post a link to one of these, you know, in the video, but, um, what I typically do is, you know, try to get all the way in there and just kind of lightly brush all across the surface of the mirror. And that'll kind of help, you know, dislodge some of the gunk and stuff. And there, you know, after a few uh, wipes, you know, try to blow this off too, because that way you're kind of getting rid of some of the dust and you're not like, you know, just spreading it around. But anyway, yeah, I mean, this is pretty safe. Um, uh, assuming that you don't have like sand or something hard on there, like if you had something like that, you definitely want to wash it. But for getting rid of, you know, like a lot of dust, this is a good method to do it. You just kind of, you know, essentially brush it off. And I could already tell that's looking a lot better. Um, so yeah, so I'd say that, you know, by just by doing that, I almost got this guy looking, you know, almost as good as that, not quite. Again, this one is kind of borderline. 
and then uh, need it to be clean. But yeah, I'd say that, you know, I'm pretty satisfied. Whatever is left on here really won't affect the view. So it doesn't look, you know, exactly perfect, but I'd say that's good enough thing you know, to put it in the scope again. And last but not least, so, okay guys, so if your diagonal is, like if your mirror is this dirty, um, you know, we'll go ahead and hit it with the bulb and see how much of this comes off. You can probably see, let me actually kind of direct it, there we go. You'll probably see on camera some of the stuff lying off, but as you can see, I mean, still very filthy. Um, so if your mirror is this dirty, I really wouldn't recommend going in there with the brush and starting to brush it off. Like this is just dirty enough to where it really needs to be clean. So how do you do that? Um, well, recently I found an article uh, by Teleview. Actually, I got a Teleview diagonal and I had the little paper there with how to clean the diagonal. And what it talks about is basically, you know, like getting like a chem wipe type of thing, you know, dipping in alcohol and going in there and wiping it. Guys, I mean, unless you have like microscopic hands, I mean, it's really hard to get in, you know, even into a two inch diagonal. I definitely wouldn't want to do it with an inch uh, and a quarter diagonal, but very hard to get in there. And really, if your diagonal is pretty dirty, you are going to scratch the surface, you know, of the mirror. Uh, so here's what you actually want to do. So all pretty much any star diagonal that I've seen, they usually will have four screws on the bottom. And you can take those out, this bottom section, as you can see right here, will kind of come off. And then that way you have 100% access to the mirror. So let's see how that's done. Oh, actually, guys, okay, <laughs> totally forgot. Okay, so I did want to show you guys this. Because uh, a lot of people, they're kind of afraid that, you know, you're going to mess up. Like if you take your diagonal apart, you're going to mess up on the, col the collimation of the diagonal, right? Well, I wanted to show you guys. So I'm putting a, this is a holographic laser, right? That projects, um, you know, essentially a bullseye to where you could really accurately tell if, you know, something's centered in there. Chances are, you, you know, you probably don't have one of these, but you really don't need it. I'm just demonstrating the, you know, the kind of the concept here. So let's see, let me make sure this is showing up on camera. Yeah, again. Okay. So as you can see, the pattern, right? So we have one, two, three, one, two, three, you know, on all sides, right? And then the little things that stick out, they'll show you that the collimation right now is really good because they're about equal lengths on all sides, right? So we're gonna clean the diagonal, I'll assemble it back up, and then I'll show you guys that if you keep track of all the shims that are, might be in your uh, diagonal, you really won't have any collimation issues. It's pretty hard to kind of mess up the collimation on the star diagonal. Okay guys, so I'm finishing up uh, taking out the last screw here, right? And so, you know, naturally there's really nothing holding the mirror into the diagonal anymore. So typically you want to hold the diagonal like this when you get the screws out, right? And then uh, sometimes these covers, they could be kind of stuck on, but like this one lifts off really easily. So, um... All of these, you know, they'll kind of be different the way that the mirror is held in here. Like in this case, looks like there's some styrofoam or whatnot or some kind of foam in there. Do remember though how this all goes, because again, they'll kind of influence, uh, you know, like how uh, the alignment is. So I took this out like this, and I'm just gonna flip it over, put it straight on the cover so I know exactly how it goes. And it looks like there's some it's very typical that there'll be like paper shims in there or cardboard shims. So don't, you know, don't freak out. That's normal. Like in this case, it looks like there's some kind of a paper shim. So we're going to take that out. Put that again, just like it was in there. And then it looks like there she is. There's the mirror. Um, so what I'm going to do probably is I don't see any shims around the mirror. So, uh, that should be pretty easy. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to put my fingers under and kind of flip it over. And as you kind of see, mirror came right out. Again, so I'm confirming that there's no shims here. A lot of, in a lot of cases, there will be like paper shims. So if you kind of see them, you need to make sure that you remember where they all go. Because they'll, again, they'll kind of influence your collimation, possibly. All right, so anyway, um, uh, the mirror... You know, here she is, as you can see, this is why we have to take this one out. Pretty dirty. 
Okay. Uh, so I will, uh, um, if, if I don't do it on camera, I am going to wipe in there just, you know, with my microfiber cloth. Um, uh, but anyway, so this is kind of, you know, the mirror itself. I'm going to hit it with the bulb again. Yeah, see, like, this stuff is just not really, like, coming off. Even, like, this piece of hair right here. See if I can just pick it off without touching the mirror. Yeah, see, it's kind of stuck on there. Anyway, that's, that's way dirtier than um, what they typically are. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take you guys for a stroll here real quick. Okay. So we're in the bathroom. So what I'm actually initially going to do with the mirror this dirty is I'm just going to rinse it off with just regular tap water because I think that I'll you know rinsing it like this this will get a lot of stuff kind of you know just really dislodged it doesn't really hurt anything um, by just having water run over it so just give it a real good rinse All right, guys, check that out. That's already like way better. I mean, most of the stuff already came off, really. Okay. So, let's go back to our work area here. Alrighty. So, um, got the mirror back here. Um, so, uh, this uh, little container that I've got here, right, this is not water in here. What this is, is uh, rubbing alcohol. It's 91%. If you could get 99%, it's probably even better. Um, and then if you're wondering why we're not using water, because uh, you can use distilled water as well. We'll kind of get to that in the final phase. You'll kind of see why uh, alcohol for small mirrors like this is kind of better. So anyway, what you want to do is submerge the mirror into the alcohol. You can kind of swish it around. Try not to touch the mirror with, you know, your, the, like your fingers actually. So just kind of grab it by the edges. So swish it around. So, so far everything we've done, guys, there's basically no possible way for us to damage the mirror, okay? And we're going to try to keep it that way. So kind of swish it around. What this does is it kind of, you know, helps to uh, loosen up some of the um, gunk that could be on the mirror. And at this point, what you want to do is you want to grab your uh, cotton balls. These are, you know, just regular 100% cotton balls. Make sure you get ones that don't have, like, lotion, perfumes, or anything like that. Uh, I just usually buy them, you know, at the, at the, you know, just like Walmart or something. Anyway, so what you want to do at this point is just kind of dab the mirror, right? You don't want to like really wipe initially, especially. So what you want to do is dab the mirror. And I don't know if you can see it on camera, but I'm doing it. What I'm trying to do is I'm trying to expose fresh surfaces of the cotton ball every time I dab. So basically I'm, I kind of keep on rotating it essentially. And you know, try to remember, you know, which way you're going so that you kind of know uh, which, you know, sides you've used. Basically, the point of that, guys, is that um, if I do grab, you know, like a piece of like, you know, something that's going to scratch the mirror, uh, you know, you do one dab right, and you turn it over. Not By the way, not like rubbing the mirror, but just kind of turn it over while you're in the air. And then that way, hopefully you won't scratch the mirror. Now, guys, while I'm kind of doing this and so that you're not 100 percent bored, um, one of the most precise surfaces in the world is this. A lot of these mirrors, like especially like for instance, this uh, batter mirror diagonal, it's 10th wave. What that means is that it's precise to a 10th of the wavelength of light, okay? Now, if you're not sure how small uh, the wavelength of light is, look it up, you know, this is on the History Channel, but look it up, it's very small. So they're, these are the one of the most precise surfaces in the world. That's why we're so careful uh, with this. Um, now, if you have like a reflector, right, like a daub or something, you know, the, the precision of the mirror that you have in there is probably about as precise as this. Maybe not quite, but probably about as precise. But this is actually way more crucial not to damage compared to your daub mirror. Because if you have a little scratch, you know, that's a quarter inch length on your um you know like daub mirror right well that's over like the surface you know like let's say like whatever your daub is like 10 12 inches or 16 or whatever i mean this thing is tiny right so the light is almost focused by the time it gets here right 
So any tiny scratch on here will really kind of affect, you know, the performance overall a lot more than, you know, like a larger mirror essentially. All right, guys. So um, let's see where, the, yeah, these are kind of in the frame. Okay. So now what are these guys? These are, you know, like kind of like Q-tips, but these are, uh, as you can see, they're kind of more pointed, right? Quick secret, um, if you don't want to buy these on Amazon, and I'll have a link to these, uh, these are usually sold in the cosmetics section. And don't be embarrassed by going in there, it's okay. Um, but anyway, uh, what these are kind of really cool for, as you can see, so I'm kind of moving the water around, so kind of, actually, let me kind of try to switch this around, see if I could get rid of some of the stuff. So as you can see, guys, like when I pick this up, you see there's uh, still some like white specks on here, right? We don't really technically want to try to, you know, like wipe them with like a big cotton ball like that. Because again, you could kind of, you know, you have the chance of scratching the mirror. So that's where these Q-tips are really cool. Again, keep it underneath the alcohol. Um, and then what you could do is you could take the really kind of like fine point and kind of try to get these off without okay so yeah i just dislodged that one so that's cool just something stuck on the surface it wasn't like a scratch or anything so that one's dislodged again you notice that i flipped the q-tip over because i you know i did one section okay so i did these little two okay i'm done with that q-tip i'm gonna get a new one again you're trying to prevent damage okay and this is kind of you know a pretty dirty extreme example that's why i want to show in this video okay so you saw that big deal that was right here float away totally great okay so i'm pretty happy with this guys um i think we got most of the stuff that was just kind of you know glaring at me there that was really dirty okay so at this point, guys, um, you can, you know, like what a lot of times what I'll do is I'll kind of take the mirror out and see like if I'm happy with how it looks, you know. At this point, I can, I don't know if it's showing up on camera, but there's some, a couple of spots here that are, you know, still not off. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to kind of work them a little bit more with the cotton ball. So what I'm going to do at this point, mirror is pretty clean already. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to kind of do a little bit more of a, wiping motion at this point because i'm pretty satisfied with how clean the mirror is already there shouldn't be anything that's going to scratch the mirror and we'll test my theories at the end we'll see if i put any scratches on this hopefully not okay so we're going to do that okay yeah so we got some uh you know like good wipes and now i'm going to go through and just kind of really wipe the whole surface of the mirror okay guys and i don't know if it's showing up too well on camera, but I'm uh, running low on alcohol. The mirror is not submerged. What you want to do is have enough alcohol in here to where the surface of the mirror is submerged. And what that does is that helps to kind of lubricate all your wipes. So like if there's, you know, stuff that's going to scratch your mirror, there's going to be way less chance of that because they kind of float away and kind of glide a lot more easier than if you're dry wiping okay so i'm just kind of wiping the entire mirror so i've wiped the whole thing and i'm gonna swish it around a little bit let's take a look looking much better guys that is looking way cleaner than it was before Alrighty, guys so let me okay everything's on camera okay all right guys so i'm pretty satisfied with how the mirror looks um now guys i will say um if you see like a speck or two or whatever on here and it's just really not coming off with that much wiping, which this is really more wiping than I normally do on these because this one is particularly dirty. You know, I wouldn't worry about that, guys. I, chances are uh, it won't affect the view. Um, and if you do damage the mirror, it'll probably affect the view more and that's permanent, right? So I wouldn't like go too crazy on this. But anyway, so at this point, what we're going to do is we're going to take some of the alcohol, right? Some fresh alcohol that's clean and we're going to just... We'll give the whole mirror a good rinse. All right, guys, and now check this out. So this is where the cool part comes in. This is why we were using alcohol. I'm gonna just set the mirror down here, right? And then you're gonna see what happens.
All right, so as you can see, pretty cool, right? Now this does take a couple of minutes. Um, the mirror is drying by itself and it's leaving basically no resonant. Now, um, when you do this, as you can see on the bottom here, or hopefully, yeah, you can see that, um, there's like this huge basically kind of like, uh, you know, essentially kind of line of uh, alcohol. So what you want to do is just put like a little tissue to just absorb some of that. Otherwise, chances are you will leave a little residue. So I'm not really touching the mirror surface. I'm just kind of doing the bottom. Okay, and I'll just set that there. Alrighty guys, so this thing is pretty much dry. There's a little bit of alcohol on just the very bottom here. I won't bore you guys with the rest of this. Um, it'll dry by itself. Again, now let's check out the final results. So as you guys can see, I mean, this mirror looks incredibly better. Now there is still a few of the like white little spots there. Um, you know, I... You know, this is an older mirror, so I don't know if that's just the coatings that are starting to kind of fail on that. Um, it almost looks like that. I mean, it could be a little mold, but I think that's just really the coatings that are starting to fail. But typically, I mean, if you get your mirror looking this good, I mean, this is, it's going to perform as good as new, okay? Even like, you know, with these little, like, white little spots on there, that's really not going to affect anything too much, especially since they're not on the center of the mirror. The center of the mirror is kind of the most crucial part. So anyway... At this point, what we're gonna do is just kind of start assembling this. And with this one, super, since we really didn't have any shrimps to deal with or anything, super simple. So, you know, I'll just kind of slide that in there. You know, I put the little paper in there just like it was. Put this in just like it was. Oop, put this guy on. I'm gonna screw it back on and we'll kind of check the collimation. Alrighty guys, so here's the final product. As you can see, the mirror is back in there. It's looking way, way, way better now. All right, so let's check the collimation for those of you that might be afraid that, you know, taking your mirror out, it's gonna mess stuff up. Let's, let's take a look. Oh guys, check that out. It's just like it was. So one, two, three, three ticks on everything. And then the little tails, this little section right there, as you can see, basically the same length. So we don't have any issues at all. Alrighty guys, so hopefully you guys found this information helpful. And if you have a dirty mirror diagonal, now you kind of know how to address it, you know, depending on how dirty it is. Uh, so if you guys have any questions, comments, or anything like that, leave them in the thing below. If you're not subscribed, please do consider subscribing. If you found this video super helpful, uh, you know, feel free to leave me a super thanks. I would super appreciate that. See you guys in the next video. Bye.